in the last videos, we did a lot of problems where we had uh, some original price and we had a discount. So we pulled this down this way. So we get some kind of discount. And then after the discount, we had this sale price, you know, that was smaller than my original price. So notice that, you know, starting with my whole amount, original price was considered my whole amount. Pulling that down, my part was my sale price, and my part was always smaller because I was discounting from the original price. Now things are going to change a little bit because we're going to look at a slightly different kind of problem. This time, and let me just uh, copy and paste this thing or duplicate it. Okay, this time, uh, my starting point, instead of it, my original bar representing the wholesale or the original price, it's going to represent the wholesale price. And just so we're clear here, when we're talking about the wholesale price, we're talking about the price the store pays for the item or the cost to the store. So if someone owns a store, you know, they don't receive those goods for free. They had to pay money to acquire those goods and to put them in their store. The amount uh, of money that it costs the store is the wholesale price. Now, obviously, the store can't sell those goods for uh, the same amount that they paid for it, and they can't sell it for less because that's not a good business model. You're going to go out of business very quickly if you do that. Uh, but you're going to have to do what's called, you know, make this a little more money, right? And that increase is going to be your markup. So you have some wholesale price, and we are going to get larger. We're going to mark that up so that we can make a little bit of a profit on this good that we're selling in our store. And after we do this markup, we are going to have what's called our retail price, you know, which is the price tag that you will see uh, on the item in the store. So uh, just to read this to you, markups. To make a profit, stores charge more than what they pay. The increase from what the store pays to the selling price is called a markup. And uh, using our old uh, part equals some percent of the whole idea. Our wholesale price is always going to be our whole. So we are always going to put our wholesale price in right here. Okay. And in the wholesale price, you can always think of, since it's what you're starting with, what you start with is all of it or 100% of it. Uh, and then your markup, you know, you're going to have some percent here for your markup. So let me just throw out a number and just say we're going to mark something up by 25%. And then if my wholesale price represented 100% of the cost of the item, and then I mark that up by another 25%, I'm going to add these two numbers together. And my retail price is going to actually be 125% of my wholesale price. Uh, just like before, when you're doing discount problems, there's two different percents coming up here. There's the percentage that you're marking the item up, which in this example represented 25%. So we could plug that in for our percent. So we could plug in the markup percent. And in that case, our part is going to be the markup amount, you know, in terms of a number of dollars. So for example, if my wholesale price was uh, $10 and I was marking that up by 25%, then my markup amount would be $2.50. Uh, and my retail price would be $12.50. Okay, so if you're plugging in the markup uh, percent here, and you would always do the decimal, so if it's 25%, you'd put in a 0.25 here, realize that your part is going to be the amount that you're marking up the item. And then if the question asked you for the retail price, realize you would have to add that on to this wholesale price. The other scenario would be that, you know, we could still plug in our wholesale price here. 
And rather than plugging in our markup percent, we could plug in the uh, this percent right here. So you could think of that as basically your uh, retail. percent okay so my what my wholesale always starts at 100 i'm always going to mark it up by some percent and then i'm going to get this new percent here that is some percent of my wholesale price uh, and whenever i use this number right here directly across from my retail price here now my part is going to be my retail price right here And if you're using this idea, your retail percent, you know, you're always going to have a percentage that is larger than 100%. So with this example right here, I would actually be plugging in 1.25 for my percent. And because I'm uh, multiplying by a number that's larger than one, because I'm multiplying my whole by a number that's larger than one, my part is actually going to be bigger than my whole. Okay, and which makes sense. My retail price should be bigger than my wholesale price. Uh, so just to give you a couple uh, little formulas here to help you out as you work through this. Uh, remember, we mentioned this uh, earlier in the video, but make sure that you understand that your wholesale price, which is what a store pays, plus your markup, which would be your increase in price, would give you the price that a person would pay for the item or the retail price or the selling price. Um, a slightly different way to look at the same idea. Your selling price is always equal to your wholesale price or your cost to the store plus the markup amount. In this one, notice that they put the markup amount as some percent of the cost to the store. Uh, as long as you use these ideas and these formulas as you think through these problems, uh, it'll help you out greatly. Um, and I think that's all I have for this video.